This is section 12.3 for uh, Math 99, and we are just going to do the first part of the chapter for this lecture, and we're going to talk about logarithmic functions. So um, to talk about logarithmic functions, let's think back to exponential functions. If I had something like 3 to the x, that's my function. So um, 3 to the x, so like if I had 3 squared, that's 9. Or if I had uh, 3 to the 4th power, that's 81. So these exponent, exponential functions are, are doing something. They're taking some base to, to a power, and the power is the exponent. In this case, the base is 3. So think about this function. I'm plugging in uh, like 4, and out's popping 81 because I'm going 3 to the 4. So what I want to be able to do is to undo this. I want to do the inverse of this. I want to know what undoes f. So for example, I want to know, for example, 3 to what power is 81? Um, I want a function that gives me that answer. So my input would be 81. So if I plug in 81, the answer will tell me what this power is. 3 to what power gives me that? So I'm, I'm looking for an inverse exponential function. And that's what logarithms do, logarithmic functions. So if I have this um, 3 to the 4th equals 81, if I uh, write an equivalence for that, I would say log base 3, notice I have the same 3, of 81. In this case, it's 4. So the thing that, this is what logarithms do. So the thing that undoes 3 to the is log base 3 of. So log base 3 of 81, again, what that doing is that asking a question. 3 to what power gives me 81? I will do some more logarithm examples here. One thing I want to add is these statements are equivalent to each other. This, you could also say, this, this part right here is asking a question. It's asking 3 to what power gives 8. And the power is, is 4. So let's, uh, let me throw down um, another log function. Let's say I had log... Um, base 4 of 16. And I want to evaluate that. I want to know what that's equal to. So um, let me think about what it's asking. The base is 4, and the answer is 16. So this is, if I write this, it's the same as saying fill in the blank on this. 4 to what power is 16? And we know that it's 2. And I could, if I didn't know it, I could you know guess and check on my calculator or something like that. So if I have something that is uh, log base b of x equals y, that is equivalent. It's the same thing as saying base to the power of the answer is the input. Logarithms, what they spit out are exponents. The answer to a logarithm is an exponent, right? Because 4 to the second is 16. So logarithms spit out exponents. They're the power that makes that work. Um, I remember when I was first learning these, um, and I, I wrote this down, and I always referred back to it. Um, whenever you're working with exponential problems or logarithmic problems and you get stuck, you can often rewrite one way or the other to, uh, to kind of give yourself some direction. So let's just rewrite some of these. So I could have something in, in logarithmic form, or I could have it in, in exponential form. And we'll go back and forth. So an example of something in exponential form would be um, 2 to the third is 8, or uh, 4 to the negative 2 is 1 sixteenth. And some examples in log form would be like uh, uh, log base 7 of 49 is 2, or log base 6 of 36 is, is 2. 
So let me let me go the opposite direction. So if my exponential form is this and I want to rewrite it in a log form, now I'm not solving for anything. I'm just rewriting the form. Um, I'm just rewriting the same relationship. I would rewrite it as this. The base is 2. So log base 2. The answer is 8. So the output here becomes the input here. And that's equal to the exponent. Remember, logarithms spit out exponents. So if I were to rewrite this one, it would be log base 4 of 1 16th is and the logarithm spits out the exponent, is the exponent. So if I go the opposite direction, I know my base is 7. I know my exponent is 2, and that's equal to 49. And again, if I rewrite this one, my base is 6, my exponent is 2, that's equal to 36. Now again, what I'm doing here is I'm just rewriting the forms, you know, between a function and its inverse. It's just like if I ask you to... Uh, like if I ask you to write x plus 5, uh, no, sorry, um, 2 plus 3 equals 5, I could say that's this equivalent to 5 minus 3 equals 2, right? But this is how these three numbers are related to each other with addition. This is how these one way that these three numbers are related to each other with subtraction. Doing the same thing here. I have the same three values, 2, 3, and 8. Here's how they're related to each other in an exponential way of thinking. Here's that are related to each other in a logarithmic way of thinking. So I'm going to write some things that I just want to solve for x. So log base 7 of x equals 3, or uh, log base 2 of x equals negative 4, log base x of 16 equals 4. Uh, let's, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do for now, and we'll do some more here in a sec. So I'm, I'm not sure what to do just by looking at it. I mean, you might be, but what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure what to do, I'm going to rewrite it. So log base 7 of x is 3. I could rewrite that as 7 to the third, right? Base to the exponent is x. So I can grab a calculator and go 7 to the third power. So it looks like x must equal 343. Uh, similarly with this one, let me rewrite it. 2 to the negative fourth base to the exponent is x. So uh, 2 to the negative fourth, let's see, 2 to the fourth, 2, 4, 8 is 16. The negative flips it. That's 1 16th. So x is 1 16th here. And this next one, uh, the base is x. So x to the fourth power is 16. So the way that I can do that is I can take the fourth root of each side. And if I do that on my calculator, I get 2. And if you're not sure how to do that on your calculator, you could look for a fourth root or an nth root button, but you can also go 16 to the 1 fourth power. Same thing. Great. So notice that how we got these is we rewrote them. And we did some calculation with them. Really, mostly what you're going to be doing right now is some practice with, with rewriting. I'm going to do a couple more examples in a sec. Log base 8 of 4 equals x. Um, log base 9 of 1 equals x. And log base 36 of 1 sixth equals x. So these ones are a little more tricky, but we're going to just be really uh, familiar with exponents to help us get there. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. There's the base, 8, <laughs> sorry. There's the base, 8 to the exponent is 4. Now, that's not easy to, to figure out to see what it's going to be. So here's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to think of these both like I could rewrite both of these as something to some power. For example... Uh, 4 is 2 to the second power, and 8 is 2 to the third power, and that's to the x. And when I have a power to a power, that's just the same as multiplying. So this is 2 to the 3x equals 2 to the second power. And so here's what's, what's great about this is 
if I have the same base and they're equal to each other, the base is kind of is irrelevant, really, because I'm just going like, when would 3x equal 2? Because when these were equal, when 3x was equal to 2, these would both equal 4. So really, all I have to solve here is 3x equals 2. So divide both sides by 3. It looks like x is 2 thirds. And it's easy for me to check. I can shove that back in my calculator. If I go 8 to the power, sorry, of 2 thirds on my calculator, it should give me 4. And it does. So let's do this uh, this third one next. I know they're funny, in a funny order. Log base 36 to the 1 sixth equals x. So that means 36 to the x power equals 1 sixth. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Uh, 36 is 6 squared. So this is 6 squared to the x power. 1 sixth is 6 to the negative 1. So this is the same as 6 to the 2x equals 6 to the negative first. And you can see they have the same base. So the base is irrelevant. I just need to get those exponents equal to each other. 2x equals negative 1 divided by 2 x equals negative one-half. Uh, plug it back in, and you can see that it works. Because uh, one-half power is the same as square rooting, and the negative flips the fraction, one over six. All right, log base nine of one. Let's see. Nine to what power would give me one? Interesting. Nine to the First gives me 9. 9 to the negative 1 gives me 1 ninth. How about I get 1? Oh, I know. So this is, a, this is a good thing just to, just to know, just to remember. Um, it must be 0. Because anything to the 0th power is 1. Um, you can go back to our thinking about exponential, exponential growth, and that will help, uh, help think about that. Let me get a couple of relationships up here. Log of some base of one is zero because anything to the zeroth power is one. What would log base seven of seven be? Hmm. So what we're looking for is seven to what power gives us seven? It must be one. So log base b of b is 1. Cool. What would log base 7 of 7 to the third power be? Well, we're looking for 7, this one, to what power is 7 to the third? Well, it must be 3. Remember, exponents and logs undo each other. So this relationship really gets on that idea that um, 7 to the third and log base 7, or 7 to some power and log base 7 undo each other. So like if I had log base 18 of 18 to the 53rd power, notice this is an exponential relationship, 18 to the 53rd, but then this log 18 undoes it. This log base 18 is asking 18 to what power gives you whatever this is. 18 to the 53rd, it must be 53. So log base and base to the, they're inverses. They, they undo each other. So in the homework, you're going to uh, be doing some rewriting like we did at the start, doing some solving of things like this as well. Um, get really good and really comfortable going back and forth between these two operations and really think about what log means so we can dig into the next piece. All right, send me any questions that you have.